How's it going friends and welcome back to Bikes Online. Today we're going to be putting two of Polygon's hottest bikes up against one another. It's going to be the Siskiyou T8 trail bike and the Colossus N9 enduro bike. Now like our previous head-to-head -head, we're going to be looking at three different categories. The first one being value and spec. The second one being how they look aka the swag factor. And then the third and final category is going to be of course how they ride. So let's not waste any more time and let's get to it. First up, let's discuss value and spec. The Siskiyou T8, a capable trail bike with a balanced climbing and descending pedigree, is an industry leader in this category considering all of the components spec'd versus how much you'll spend to get the bike on your doorstep. The Siskiyou T8 is sporting a lean and supportive Fox Rhythm 34 fork, a float DPS rear shock with equivalent dynamics, crisp Shimano SLX shifting, responsive Tektro Orion 4-pot brakes, and other modern amenities like a dropper post and a wide set of riser bars. The Colossus N9, a super sender and descent optimized enduro bike, has an even juicier spec and the price tag does correspond with this. The N9 has a burly and laterally stiff Fox Performance 38 fork, an equally burly Float X2 Elite Rear Shock, Ultra Snappy Shimano XT Shifting, SRAM Code R 4 piston brakes with some massive rotors, and a really nice set of Shimano XT hubs to roll on. The Siskiyou T8 with its unibody pivot platform is optimized for a balanced experience both up and down hill, whereas the Colossus N9 with its plush IFS linkage is intended to be hucked down steep terrain. Despite their differences, both bikes pack a serious punch in terms of value per dollar, so it's a bit of a coin toss to select a winner. However, considering the Siskiyou T8 can be secured for a price tag similar to that of a competitor hardtail, it shines brightly in the value category. Put one point on the board in the way of the Siskiyou T8. Next, let's talk about the swag factor. That's right, we're talking about looks. As we have mentioned in the past, there is a definitive fashion element to mountain biking. From our gear to our bikes, there's no shame in wanting to look cool on the trails. With that being said, we conducted another poll to see which one of these two bikes is the best looking. Here are the results. With a sample size of nearly 100 participants, the Colossus N9 won, accounting for 61% of votes, leaving the remaining 39% of votes cast in the way of the Siskiyou T8. The bold purple and oil slick down tube colorway of the Siskiyou T8 may not be for everybody, and that's why we also have an alternate gunmetal and copper color for the Siskiyou T8 available. Regardless, let's chalk up a point for the Colossus N9. Now for the big moment, how do these bikes ride? It's a bit of a Jekyll and Hyde dynamic here, since the Siskiyou T8 is designed to be a nimble yet capable trail bike, while the Colossus N9 is more of a rough and rowdy enduro sled. Although their personalities differ, they can both accomplish things outside of their intended purpose, and somewhere in this gray area, they are quite competitive against one another. For example, over the last few months, we've seen the T8 hit some really big features normally reserved for longer-limbed bikes, as a result of its intelligent geo and progressive linkage. And on the flip side, we've seen the N9 handle trail bike duty maintaining efficiency in peddly bits of trail thanks to its all-new IFS linkage. Rather than comparing and contrasting further, let's get these two bikes on the trail and try to find our winner. Okay guys, so we're back here in Bentonville, Arkansas. Today what we're going to be doing is what's known as the hammer down loop. It features a little bit of climbing, a little bit of technical chunk, as well as some flowy jumps and features like that. So it'll be a good cross section to see how both of these bikes perform. So I'm going to do two runs, one on each bike, and I'll let you know how it goes. All right, and we're off aboard the Polygon Siskiyou T8. We're heading up the climb of Ozone to get to the Hammer Down Downhill Trail. I've always found the Polygon Siskiyou T8 to be pretty remarkable in the climbs. It's super efficient, gives you plenty of support and plenty of traction. SLX drivetrain performing wonderfully. All right, coming around these switchbacks. Let's go. Rock and rolling. Yeah, seriously, I feel like there's almost no pedal bob. Such an efficient rear end on this bike. Almost there. 
Okay. A little more rocky right here, but not bad. All right, we made it. Whew. Such a good bike. Time to boogie downhill. Let's go. First jump into the rock garden. Very nice, right through bridge and send this you rocking and rolling great trail or chunk this is the chunkiest garden here it's fine pedal in for the step up hey last garden here we go and come around the burner pedal heavy hey ah All right, as you can see, the southern heat does not play around. It's not even 10 a.m. yet, and I'm soaked in sweat. However, we still have one more bike to test, and it's gonna be the Colossus N9. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, back in the saddle. This time aboard the Colossus N9. Despite its longer travel numbers, it's actually still very efficient in the climbs. Um, I think some credit is due for the wheel set. I know I've talked about this before, but the bearings in these wheels just have like no resistance. It helps so much. Steering is a little bit more nuanced from the slacker head angle. You certainly can feel it. It feels a little bit more floppy around tight switchbacks, but it's perfectly manageable and still a really good climber uh, given the nature of it. What's interesting about the N9 is it does have sort of like this magic carpet vibe. It's probably not as efficient in the climbs as the T8, but it does seem to like float over roots and stuff like that, which is cool. Pretty much at the top here. Let's finish it out. There we go. Nicely done. All right, time to go down. Round two, hammer down on the Colossus. Let's go. Well, I'll drive through that, feels good. Into the bridge. Let's jump. Whee! So good. I anticipate a smoother experience through this rock garden here. Yes, slightly smoother. Uh, came up short on that hair. Finish it out. Oh, case that by a mile. Yeah, this bike's not as zippy as the T8, but that's okay. Can you tell I'm gassed? Yeah, it's pretty hot. Um, so we're finished up now, just got done with the Colossus N9. So between the two bikes, this is just my personal opinion, I personally had more fun on the Siskiyou T8. So with that being said, on today's head-to-head, -to -head, I'm giving this category to the Siskiyou T8. However, one major caveat, I live in Bentonville, which has a 50-50 mix of uphill and downhill. If I was in a completely different environment where it's more downhill oriented, guarantee you I would be choosing the Colossus N9 to take this category. So with that being said, you definitely need to put into consideration the types of trails you're going to be riding and whether you're going to spend more time descending or climbing before you make a decision because both bikes are really rad. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned into all the content that we create. Also, drop a comment below on which one of these two bikes you would like to be riding. Thanks so much for watching today's Head to Head. As always, I am Jared with Bikes Online, and I'll see you around.